Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to be talking about how to actually add courses to your schedule. So with the 2019-2020 class schedule registration opening for everyone starting in a few weeks, um, this would be a perfect time to make sure you know how to do this. If you don't have time to come in for an advising appointment, you can do it at home on your own. So you're going to go to the student tab and you're going to go right here to where it says add drop. Now, when I click on the magnifying glass for the upcoming registration year, you can see that these are grayed out just because registration for me specifically has not opened. You can see based upon my credit hours right here, my registration date is February 26th. So with that being said, I can still show you how to register. I'm just going to use summer semester of this year, 2019, to show you how to do that. So as you can see, I already have three classes on my schedule, but I'm going to add another one as an example. So it says add class to the schedule. So I'm going to click that button. Now, if I know the four digit class code, I can do that option here. But if I don't, I can click on the second option and search for it by subject and catalog number. So let's say I wanted to take a finance course as a business elective. So I would scroll here to finance and I don't know which course yet. So I'm just going to hit continue and all of the finance courses that are available for this particular semester pop up here. So let's say I wanted to take 353 intro to investments. So right here is a little plus sign. This is how I'm going to add the course. But here is the magnifying glass that tells me everything I need to know about the course. This is an online course. It tells me about the fee. It tells me about the prerequisite, which is Finance 351, and it tells me the course description. It tells me what week it's offered, which is really only a summer semester thing, so you won't really have to worry about that unless you're taking summer courses. But let's say I like what I'm seeing and I want to add this course. I'm going to hit this blue check mark or the blue plus sign, and I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to hit enroll now. And there you have it right here on my schedule is summer 2019 listed finance 353. So with that being said, I don't want to take finance 353 this summer. So let's say something happens and you decide you need to drop a class right here under the same tab, the add drop tab, you will see this drop bar. If you click on this, this is just telling you about your refunds um, with financial aid. If you go below a certain credit hour limit, um, your financial aid might be affected. But if you want to just drop a course and you know you're going to be fine, then you're just going to hit this drop now button. And you will see finance 353 has now been taken off of my schedule. So this grid pops up on your screen and as you can see, it is a much better way to look at your schedule in more of a time blocked manner rather than just seeing the courses laid out. Um, so I highly encourage students to print this out and if you're taking any web courses, those will be listed down here at the bottom, but all your in-person classes will be listed here in this grid, which is a super useful tool. So this is how you can add, drop, and actually view the courses that you schedule. So another cool thing that you can do under the student tab is actually see your schedule once you make it. So let's say you just went through that process, you added your classes, you're gonna hit schedule, and for summer 2019, I'm gonna hit that. And as you can see, my schedule pops up. It tells me where the class is at. Um, all these are web courses, but if they were in person, the location would be right here. It tells me the professor, everything I need to know about this. Now, just for the sake of showing you this grid, I'm gonna show you my spring schedule currently right now. And you can hit this view grid option. 